You can find several videos on this channel where we talk about toxic personalities and how to identify them, and the general advice in those videos is to avoid dealing with those people who exhibit toxic personality traits. That said, one of the most common objections in the comments under those videos is that it is not always easy to get rid of this kind of people from our lives. An obvious example might be that of a close family member, whom we may love despite his or her harmful behavior, and we simply don't want to remove him or her from our life, or that of a co-worker with whom we have to learn to live with, out of necessity. Therefore, in today's video we will look at 10 ways in which smart people deal with difficult people. And by difficult I mean the kind of people who always seem to cause unnecessary drama, and are often the driving force behind every conflict. People whose constant whining lowers the morale of the group in the workplace, and have a negative impact on the emotional well-being of those they deal with in everyday life. And while some of these people are totally unaware of this, others even seem to enjoy creating chaos and causing harm to other people. It's important to understand that even though we'd like to treat everyone the same, that's not always possible when dealing with these kinds of people, and that's why today we are going to analyze some very powerful techniques that can be used when dealing with them. Let's begin. Number 1, Don't feel pity for them. Toxic people use pity as a form of manipulation, and sometimes go so far as to make their victims feel guilty, daring to defend themselves. Intelligent people are able to recognize self-pity and how it is used by toxic people, I'm not saying that it's always a bad to feel sorry for yourself, it happens to all of us from time to time. The problem arises when one's life is fundamentally based on constant victim-blaming behavior, using it as a way to control and blame others for all the problems in their lives. Avoiding accepting the self-pity that these people use to justify their apathy, will prevent you from being sucked into their world. Number 2. Set Limits Serial complainers wallow in their problems and want others to join them, so to feeling better about themselves. There is no better prey than someone who can listen to them getting sucked into their negative emotional spiral. To prevent this from happening, it is important to set boundaries by distancing yourself from these people when necessary. To make an analogy, suppose you were a non-smoker, and had to spend all day in the same room with a person who smoked all day, how would you feel? It would be terrible, right? The same argument applies when we spend time with toxic people. Perhaps not on a physical level as with the example I just made, but undoubtedly on a mental level, which is probably even worse. Many people mistakenly think that because they work or live with someone, they have no way of controlling their own living space. But this is not the case, once we find a way to rise above the person we are dealing with, we will begin to find their behavior more predictable and easier to interpret and this will allow us to think rationally about when and where we should put up with them, and when we can avoid them. Don't let things happen naturally because otherwise you are bound to find yourself constantly embroiled in difficult situations. Setting boundaries and deciding when and where to commit to dealing with a difficult person can help you have more control over your life. Number 3. Maintain emotional distance. When you find yourself having a discussion with a toxic and manipulative person be very careful about what you say. It is easy to get carried away with your emotions and say or do things that you may end up regretting later. Remember that some people are masters at taking your every word out of context and manipulating it to their liking, so be very calculating with your words when dealing with toxic personalities. Number 4. Ignore them. There are people who constantly need attention, and if they are not the center of attention all the time, they may get easily annoyed. Even when an opportunity arises to celebrate another person's success, they are unlikely to be able to step aside. Should such situations arise, the best thing to do is to simply ignore what they say, and act as if they are not there. This approach works best if you are with a large group of people, because in public they will tend to hide their aggressive retaliation, and so are less likely to be upset about being ignored. Number 5. Don't share secrets with them. Toxic people will share secrets with others just to appear more interesting, and they will often do this by gossiping about other people behind their backs. If you meet someone who behaves this way, don't be fooled into thinking they are gossiping with you just because they like you, or because they trust you. Toxic people will often tell you about someone else, in the hope that you will agree with them and then they will go and tell the other person what you said. 
The result is that they will create friction between two people, leaving them in control. This is a divisive and manipulative method of gaining friends or power in a social group. Don't fall for it. Number 6. Focus on solutions, not problems. In times of crisis, smart people look for solutions, idiots look for someone to blame. Toxic people are often the first to shift blame when something goes wrong. They do it to free themselves from having to proactively make any effort to fix their mistakes. It is always easy to complain about problems and blame others for them, but it is much more difficult to find a solution. You know those people who are always complaining about something, but then when confronted with the question what would you do in this situation, they don't know what to answer. While toxic people focus on finding culprits for any given problem, intelligent people will use their energy to look for a solution to the problem, rather than looking for a culprit at all costs. So, focus on finding a solution to problems, don't get carried away by these people constantly looking for someone to take out their frustrations against. Number 7. Recognize and ignore their insults. Toxic people love to insult others, but they generally do so in a subtle and sneaky way. These people will try to mask insults with compliments by behaving in a passive-aggressive manner. Often, even though theirs may seem like kind statements, they will sow little seeds of uncertainty in your mind, making you question your own abilities, learn to interpret the truth behind the veil of their compliments and then ignore them. You will know you have grown up when you can actually laugh at what they say, but be careful because laughing in their faces may also make them angry. Number 8. Devote your time to real friends. It is important to develop a strong support network of loyal and trustworthy people. Intelligent people know that they don't have to be friends with everyone, and that not everyone deserves their friendship, and in turn they reward their friends' loyalty and trust by showing them that in friendship. Loyalty is one of the rarest and most valuable assets you can have. Don't allow toxic, negative, and untrustworthy people to intrude on your most sincere friendships. Number 9. Don't waste energy on unnecessary conflicts. Some people feel like the need to start a conflict with anyone who is willing to accept their invitation to start an apparently healthy discussion, but from their side there is often no intention to have an intelligent debate. Instead, they simply look for a reason to argue. Smart people are generally quick to recognize these situations, and the wisest reaction is to avoid falling for these provocations where possible. Number 10. IT is your right to be happy. Being a happy person who associates with emotionally healthy people is a right that no one should preclude you from. It's true that it's almost impossible to ignore what other people think of you, but at the same time what most people think should not touch you to the core. For example, if you are a top-class tennis player, would it really matter what an amateur thinks about your style of play? If you were really that good, he would be playing at Wimbledon instead of talking to you. Decide which opinions are really important to you, and accept the criticism arising from them in order to grow, but ignore the opinions of those who do not have the credentials to criticize you or whose criticism is very superficial. Now I have a question for you, which of these 10 points in your opinion is the most important when it comes to interacting and protecting yourself from toxic people? If you like, please leave a comment below the video with your opinion. If you like this video I recommend the video titled 10 kinds of people you should never trust which you can find on this channel. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell if you have not already done so. Have a great day.